Hello, my name is Brother Bernardo of the Franciscans of Life. Today I want to invite you to join us in the 40 Days for Life campaign. 40 Days for Life is a community-based campaign that takes a determined, peaceful approach to showing local communities the consequences of abortion in their own neighborhoods. Based on the biblical route in which God uses 40-day periods to transform individuals, communities, and the entire world. Beginning on September 26, there will be many locations across the United States where you can peacefully join other fellow volunteers at pretty fine sites uh, near, uh, in public areas near abortion mills where you will be able to peacefully and prayerfully join for the respect of life at all stages from the moment of conception to its natural end and especially for the end of the evil that is abortion. I would like to show you how it is that you can sign in and register for uh, volunteering at one of the locations. When you go to the 40daysforlife.com website, um, you will be able to log in and from there uh, you can create a login if you don't have one and once you have one then you're able to enter your email address or username And when you do that, you will be taken to a map that has, if you click on locations, you will be taken to a map that has all the existing locations in the United States for the current campaign. If you're interested in starting your own campaign, there is a time, there is a window of time for, for the application, uh, which uh, is already closed. But you can always submit, uh, go to the about section, and you can click on start a campaign where well, you will have all the information you need if you want to be a campaign leader. Uh, afterwards, you can use the map to browse through the areas or use uh, your country, in which case we select the United States, your state, I'm going to select Florida because we are located in South Florida, and you will see a list of locations. Uh, I am going to select the Hollywood Florida page because it's very close to our mother house. Then from there, it'll show uh, the vigil runs from the 26th of September to November 4th. He has the location where we will be gathering. And it specifically states it's in the public right of way outside of this particular abortion mill. Um, how do you register for hours? You can see the sign up for vigil hours. And when you click on that, then you will be able to see uh, a calendar which has every day through which the every one of the 40 days and they're either full partial or empty if they're empty or partial it means that there is room for you to join and commit to be there for that particular hour for example let's see Thursday September 27th as you can see there there are volunteers for many of the hours, but there are some hours like 8, 11, 3, 5. This is similar if in a way to when you try to sign up for a perpetual adoration schedule. You always want to make sure that there's at least one person to keep the prayer going. Okay, And the primary objective of 40 Days for Life is to pray for life. So whether you are there holding a sign that is peaceful or praying a rosary or reading the sacred scriptures, uh, whatever it is that you want to do, that is the perfect opportunity to do it. So you can click, for example, on the 8 o'clock. And you will see that your username will be placed on the screen. And this way, the organizers and other the organizers of the campaign will see that you're there. They can contact you if needed through your email, through which you register. And other volunteers will simply see that there is one or two or three or how many however many volunteers are going to be there at that time. Uh, it is always good uh, to have ideally two volunteers together. It's always better to be two people. Uh, that's the way the Lord used to send his his uh, brothers out, right? Two, at a time, two, two by two. But it is also okay if you go individually as long as uh, you uh, remain peaceful, non-confrontational, 
and you remain on the public area. You do not trespass into the private property, right? Remember that 40 days for life is not just about being able to be physically there, okay? It is also about prayer, fasting, and penance, okay? Prayer to the good Lord in front of the Blessed Sacrament in the privacy of your home uh, during your during a break at work, any time that you can offer to the good Lord prayers for the sacredness of life, for the holiness of life, for the end of the evils of abortion in a special way, but also uh, euthanasia and all the other uh, grave violations against life that are taking place. Um, fasting is always a great form of penance, as long as it is done in a way that does not uh, affect your health. The Lord wants mercy, not sacrifice. He wants you to offer penance out of love. He doesn't want you to hurt yourself. Okay? And um, pen, other penances, renunciation of things that uh, are not necessary. There is so, so very little that we need in our lives. Uh, in fact, St. Teresa of Avila used to say, God alone suffices, right? And uh, so think for these 40 days, is there something other than Facebook or chocolate, which you could uh, give up in a sort of uh, in a sort of Lenten practice, okay, out of out of love for the for the uh, respect of life at all stages, not only for that child in the womb, okay, that it's uh, that it has a that is that has a death uh, uh, sentence on his head or her head, but also for those who are already born. Okay? and are discriminated, and are sent to the margins, and are ignored, or grow up in poverty, okay? or are addicted uh, to, to substances, uh, or uh, uh, embrace lifestyles that are harmful and are against the dignity that is proper to human beings. Okay? For the elderly, okay? those who have disabilities, those whom society thinks uh, are no longer useful, okay? for those who are being euthanized or for whom people say, uh, you know, that they have no quality of life. Okay, for those who are sent to a nursing home and forgotten. Okay, pray for all of those. Sacredness of life begins at conception and ends when the good Lord calls us back into the house of the Father. And so take this, we invite you, okay, we Franciscans of life have made this into our way of life and we invite you as well to take these 40 days and join us into this path. You might find that the Lord gives you special grace to be able to bring this particular need of mankind and of the local church and of the universal church closer to his heart. And in closing, I wish to thank you for your time and I wish to invite you to always, always remain close to Our Lady. Pray the Rosary. Pray it with devotion. Pray it not focusing on the repetition, but slowly meditate on each of those words, on each of those powerful words, the Our Father, the Hail Mary, the Glory Be, um, the Hail Holy Queen. Whether you pray it in English, Spanish, Latin, whatever language you choose, meditate on the meaning of those words. Meditate on the mysteries. Close your eyes and Put yourself in the presence of the suffering Christ, of the glorified Christ, of Our Lady on her way to visit her cousin Elizabeth. Uh, place yourself in those scenarios. Be there with Christ. Be there with Our Lady. Unite yourself with them and you will see that God will give you the grace to do many things that Many out there in the world who do not know God, who do not know the power of God, will say that it is foolish or impossible. Nothing is impossible for God. Nothing is impossible under the protection of Our Lady. God bless you and peace be with you.